Hi and welcome to our overview of the N9073 and N9074 2 megapixel network dome cameras from 3S. In this video we're going to walk you through the key features for these products. We'll go over the physical design and lastly some of the physical connections to make sure you're installing this camera correctly. Both of these cameras are part of the 2 megapixel series from 3S. They offer up to 15 frames per second at that full 2 megapixel resolution. You can drop the resolution down to a 720p or lower in the camera and actually stream up to 30 frames per second um, if your installation requirement uh, doesn't require the full 2 megapixel or if you need more frames. The cameras utilize H.264 and Motion JPEG dual coded compression. They are dual streaming capable and the models come with 3D digital noise reduction. And digital noise is something that is present in every camera. It's more noticeable the higher up in resolution you go. So in a megapixel camera, this is a great feature to have. And what noise is commonly referred to as is static or graininess in the image. It's especially more prominent in low light. Uh, this filter is gonna help remove all of that out of the image so uh, you can capture the uh, details that you're expecting. These cameras also come with the 3S IVA suite. Um, there's three different alert types in this suite, the first of which is motion detection. The thing to note, motion detection is standard pixel-based motion detection, so it's not going to be able to classify and know that an actual person is moving in the scene. It's going to look for a certain amount of pixels to be distorted, and it's going to classify that as movement and uh, send that alert out. Second is a tamper detection. You set a predefined zone in an area. If a certain amount of that zone is covered up, obstructed, uh, whether it be a person or an object moving into that field of view or uh, the camera being uh, completely obscured by like spray paint, it's going to throw that as a tamper alert. And lastly, it's a privacy mask. So if you have a field of view, you can't quite uh, get that field of view completely narrowed down without having a sensitive area in the scene. You can draw a box. It'll block that out as shown here in the bottom right by that red box. To go right into specific features for these two cameras, they use a one third inch progressive scan CMOS image sensor. They are true day night with a mechanical ICR filter as shown in this diagram below. That just means the filter is physically dropping and being removed uh, between color and day and night mode. They come with a built-in smart IR array with a maximum range of 50 feet with a 30 degree beam width. The uh, IR array is 850 nanometers so there is a slight red glow on the LEDs when they're turned on. And the smart IR is really helpful because as objects get closer to the camera the IR light is going to back itself off so it's not overexposing that object to make sure you're capturing all the details um, regardless of where they are on the scene. It does have two-way audio capabilities uh, with a built-in microphone. Um, the max pickup for that for good quality audio is going to be around 15 foot, and that's at the far side. Um, there is a line out, so you can attach a speaker to this camera as well if you wanted to uh, actually speak back to uh, someone on the other end. There's a single sensor input and alarm output, as well as a micro SD card slot for local storage. And uh, that micro SD can be used for snapshots. It can be used for full-frame video. You set up the rules of how you want that to be captured within the camera. Maximum size is a 32 gig micro SDHC, and we do recommend a class 10 for the S speed. The cameras do operate on PoE, which is standard 802.3 AF uh, PoE capability, as well as a DC 12 volt input if you do want to power these off a separate power source. The housing itself is a white indoor plastic housing. These are not vandal resistant in any way, so they do need to be installed in an area where it cannot be touched if you're concerned about vandalism. And they do offer a three axis mechanical design. Uh, the panning coverage left to right is 175 degrees once you uh, remove that dome lid for installation. Uh, the tilting coverage is going to be from 0 to 75 degrees, 0 being straight down, 75 being your angle to look out. And then they have the z-axis which will allow you to uh, rotate the horizon physically in this camera. So if you do want to look down a wall and mount this on a wall, the z-axis is how you accomplish that. And the only real difference between the N9073 and N9074 are going to be the lenses in these cameras. Other than that, the physical design, the capabilities, they're all identical. The N9073 comes with a 3 to 10 millimeter varifocal lens. The widest, you get a 94 degree field of view. At the most telephoto out, you'll get a 29 degree field of view. The N9074 comes with a 3.6 millimeter fixed lens with a uh, fixed 77 horizontal viewing angle. So uh, if you're looking for something that's a little more flexible in the install, the N9073 is going to be your better bet. Um, obviously with a fixed lens, you're going to have a slightly lower uh, price point on the N9074. Um, you just have to be a little more aware of where that camera is going to physically be installed to make sure that you're going to get the angle that uh, you want to see when you mount that camera. The overall diameter of the cameras are 5.12 inch on the dome base. They have a 3.96 inch height, so they are a very small dome camera. And if you notice here on the diagram on the top right, you'll see a little uh, indention kind of like a rectangle on the uh, base there. That's actually a push pin lock that's on both sides of the uh, dome housing. That's how you remove the camera lid. On the bottom of the camera, you'll see uh, two mounting holes that are highlighted here in blue. The uh, mounting hole locations are 3.5 inches apart that uh, will actually line up to a single gang electrical box. So if you can wall mount this, ceiling mount it, or if you need to mount it to an electrical box, you can meet that requirement uh, with this camera. 
Once the dome lid is off and you're looking at making the physical connections, you'll see on one side of the camera the external I.O. connector. This is going to be for your alarm in, alarm out, and your uh, audio output as well as your common ground for those uh, different devices. Right next to that there's a micro SD card slot if you're going to be using local storage and the uh, built-in microphone is uh, right in front of that slot. Turn the camera around, you're going to see a uh, DC 12 volt input power plug. Um, if you are not going to be using PoE, if you uh, are, that connection won't be used. And right next to that is your LAN connection. The one thing to note on this camera is due to the uh, very small size and, and constraint, uh, you cannot use Cat5 cables that have a strain relief boot on them uh, to be able to get the dome lid back on. That uh, strain relief boot is going to be a little too long. It's not going to be able to bend the cable correctly to get it out the bottom of the camera housing. So uh, on this camera, you do need to make your own cables or at least find a pre-made cable that doesn't have that strain relief boot to make sure it's going to be, uh, be able to be properly fit. This concludes our tutorial on the N907-3 and N907-4 2 megapixel network dome cameras from 3S. Thank you for watching.